These Can are I the insane it? watches worn at Michael Rubin's white party. Jake Paul was there and wore this Richard Mill 1103 that if you wanted to buy, will cost you over half a mil. Tom Brady had on his Sounds okay. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Flying buy, Tourbillon will... that's covered in diamonds with his name on the dial. Will... What the fuck? The fuck? On the dial. Oh, baby wore this Rolex Yacht Master. Here's a better shot of this gem and diamond set watch on his wrist. This one's not it. Then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Selling for 160 grand. In this wrist shot is Jay Balvin and Zach Bia's watches, where Zach Bia wore a frosted yellow gold AP Royal Oak that'll set you back 260,000. And up here on Jay Balvin's wrist is this AP Royal Oak Concept Flying Tourbillon. In oh wow! Oh wow! What the fuck? Oh, that's rare, chat. Guys, guys, that is rare. Not that wrong, 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 it's like in it. Mr. Wonderful fashion, he wore not just one but two watches, just a few hundred k on the wrists. On one, dude, that is so loose. It's guys, it's on, dude. Look at this shit. What is going, guys? Guys, me and Jizzy met this guy um, at F1, and he was, he was actually really chill. I actually, you know what? I was surprised at how chill he was. Very chill guy. But I have honest with you, now this, this is not right. That he actually owns this one. But it's so loose though, like what is going on? On wrist is a yellow golden puzzle dial, Rolex day date, and on the other is a plan. This though, mag expensive, uh, super rare. Here's a better close up of it. Kuzma had a 1.5 mil, something like that. Woo. Cardi crash. Oh yeah, it's just his rare song. Watch Canada versus Argentina. It will probably be a close game. Wait, it's not, hold on. Yobin on the verge of a panic attack all day time for going live the wrong one to today. On this $300,000 Richard Mill Le Mans, as well as another $300,000 watch from Day Batoon called the DB28 Deadbeats. Why, you wore two watches at the same time? Richard Mill Le Mans, as well as Third another $300,000 watch from Day Batoon mid -party? called DB28 Deadbeat Seconds Tourbillon, yeah, which Day Batoon may have been the watch brand of the night because Michael Strahan also had one on in Why rose gold and zirconium, as well as Swiss Beats, who wore the kind of two jumping GMT, a $215,000 piece that's actually reversible. Drewski had on a two-time Rolex Datejust that you can pick up for sixteen grand. Aiden Ross wore this AP Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar hovered in diamonds that sell for nearly seven hundred grand. And up here on Jay-Z's wrist, is the most expensive that's nice i saw i saw in real life but that's a classic that is a classic because the reality is that everybody keep, kept doing bust downs or whatever right to, to imitate the look and they actually did it themselves and it's really fucking nice perpetual calendar hovered in diamonds that sell for nearly 700 grand and up here on jay-z's wrist is the most expensive watch of the night a vintage rolex daytona reference 6270 like where one of these recently sold at auction for 4.2 million dollars if you had your choice what would you choose for 4.2 um honestly probably this one is it's it's really cool and rare and unique